Okay, so now we're on to the hands. Once again, we're going to use the same principle as what we've done for the rest of the painting. Here I'm coming in with the dark. Following the lines, I'm filling in the spaces. Now the colors for this, basically it's the same color palette as what I've been using for the rest of the picture, except for the hands, we kind of add a little bit of the crimson and we're keeping away from the paint spray. So for the dark areas, the Van Dyke Brown is our main color for the contrast. We've just got a little bit of yellow ochre, a little touch of the cadmium red and cadmium orange. And we just keep to the same process. Follow the lines and fill in the dark areas. Now I know that many people try to stay away from hands. It's kind of a, a mental block. You know, they seem to think that they're really so difficult and they never look right. But if we follow the same principles that we've done with the face and the, and the shirt, you'll find that it will just all come together. As far as the, the structure of the hands go, you've got all the reference material in front of you and the lines that we've copied direct so we know that everything is right. So as we come in and change our colors and, and pick up on some of the lights and darks and blend them in, all I'm doing is following the reference in the larger shapes. Now don't rush at this and don't get too concerned about it looking perfect. And you can see I'm jumping around, lights and darks, lights and darks. Sometimes I just prefer to do this. I'll see something, so I'll change my color and I'll go back to do something else. And There's no set formula. Now at the moment, I'm not worried about the background. At this point in the, in the painting, I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do about the background. But one thing I do know is that some of the background is gonna fade into the, the foreground. We're gonna lose some, some areas and just give that nice kind of flow. So we continue to build up the form. You've got to bear in mind that this is paint. 
and with all paints it can be changed. And you'll see as I go through this, there'll be several times I'll change certain areas. You know, I put the paint into dark or I put it into light, so I'll just come back and you know, change that. So if something doesn't look quite right, you can always go back and change it later. And we're keeping to the same principle of paint what you see and not what you think you see. If something doesn't look quite right that you're painting, don't worry about it because there's a long way to go. And at the moment, we're just trying to, we're just trying to create some form and you'll see as it progresses, we're just going to create a little bit of detail. But as with the other parts of the painting, we're not going to finish it completely. All that will come towards the end after we get the background done and everything filled in properly. So we'll just continue. Now that we have some paint in most of the dark areas, we're going to come in with a mid-tone. Once again, the mid-tone. Once again, the mid-tone is the white, cadmium orange, cadmium yellow. It's a bit of yellow ochre and a touch of crimson. Kind of a bit of a mixed bag, but as you can see, I, I'm doing most of the blending on the canvas. I'm not mixing individual shades for certain areas. For every area, I come in with one basic shade and blend it with what's around it. So you can see we're getting some kind of form. Not much detail, but some kind of form. And here we go with the dry brush, just to give it, just to blend it in and give it a bit of softness.
Dry brushing and blending also helps when trying to com complete the form of the hand. Remember, and I can't stress this enough, don't paint anything in that you think should be there. Okay, so I've got some kind of structure, some kind of form. I have the reference in front of you, and you can see where I'm painting, and you can match it against the reference. And if you do that, you'll, you'll realize that we're not going too crazy with getting everything perfect. There's a long way to go on this picture, and all that will come later. Now that we've got the main structure of the hand in, we're just going to fill in some of that background. This is going to help complete the form that we're looking for. We're not too concerned with getting these colors right or perfect or anything like that and we're not really concerned whether they're actually going to match the background yet because all that can be changed later What we're trying to do here is just put some of the background in so we get more idea of the form of the hand. And as we put in the background, we'll notice you know, certain areas in the, in the hands might need to be changed and we'll just change those as we go along. I tend to jump around a lot when I'm doing this. No, I don't stick to any kind of any structured thoughts of painting. It's just whatever I see, I'll come in and change.
Now what I'm doing here is I'm putting a little bit more of a darker color and I'm leaving a, on the bottom of the fingers a slight highlight and this is what's going to help give the form, the form of the fingers. Okay, now we're going to take, repeat the process on the hand below. You can see from this we are once again filling in the shapes. And I've decided to start with a mid tone. No particular reason, I just decided to do that. As I said, there's no real formula.
We begin with the dark tones, filling in those spaces. Although it doesn't look, although the hand at the moment doesn't look quite right, the fingers look too long and they look a little bit distorted. But that's sometimes the appearance that they have when somebody is playing the piano. So yeah, just the dry brush again, just smoothing things out.
and then we come in with some light tones. You can see the structure starting to get together. We're jumping again around again with some mid tones and light tones. And it's obvious that the the dark areas need to be filled in a little bit more. Again, they're not looking that great, but they're far from finished. And you've got to keep that in mind when you do this. You can't abandon it halfway through thinking, oh, it looks like garbage. Now, it takes time and it's just a process. Now more of the background is going to go into to, just to see how the hands are going to look. We're not really choosing any, any particular color for this. We're just keeping it, uh, this is just basically Van Dyke Brown and the paint's gray. Because all we want to see is how the hand sits in a certain space. But 
We're not going to get too crazy with this. We're just filling in the color. A little bit of shadowing on the keys. You see as we've put the, the background in a little, the hands start to make a bit more sense. And we can tell that we need some more contrast. So we've just come in with some lighter colors. And now we're doing a little bit of detailing, not too much. We're still really just playing around with the different shapes and the contrast of the different areas of the hand. And as you can see, a little bit more detail, it starts to make a bit more sense.
and now we're coming in and now we're bringing in more of the of a warm dark area once again we're keeping away from the paints growing and this is going to give us more of the contrast and the form that we're looking for We progress with the background down into the left hand because we want to see how that's starting to look. And once again, we're not going too crazy, we're just filling in the areas.
putting the white to the fuse really does give it some help to show the structure of how the hand is starting to work. We're beginning to see parts of the, air of the hands which are not quite right because you're looking at this against the reference and during the painting some of the structures got a little bit askew and this only helps to bring that together and so for the time being we are going to say that this is finished for now we're going to complete this when it comes to I'm going to complete this during the finishing stages after the background's all complete.